Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. I am Carl Lewis, your host today, and today we'll be continuing in our series with what's new in SAP Business One version 9.1. And today's topic is going to be multiple branches. Just as a reminder, we are now recommending version 9.1 and patch level 9 is just about ready to be our uh, recommended patch. We haven't noticed any problems over the last three or four weeks. Uh, so we're very close to making that our most recent recommended patch for SAP Business One version 9.1. Without any further ado, we're going to switch uh, now to our presentation for the day about multiple branches. First, we're going to see a very short introduction about the concept of multiple branches from our friends at SAP, and then a little more detail about how it works uh, in uh, much more detail so you can really get your head around what multiple branches does and how it works. Diversification is a growth strategy not only for large enterprises, but also prevalent in small businesses. OEC is a small company which has been dealing with sports articles. In order to grow, OEC is going to diversify its business. With an expanded product portfolio, OEC wants to target the new market's fashion and lifestyle, as well as computer games. Running a business with three different segments will create more complexity and pose a challenge to transparency. In order to master this challenge, OEC wants to organize its business in three units within one legal company. The function multiple branches of SAP Business One is the perfect fit for OEC. It allows you to model the business units of OEC as branches in SAP Business One and helps OEC to manage its business by branches. Multiple branches can be easily deployed. The minimal setup consists of three steps. First, you enable this function. Second, you define the branches which represents the business units. And finally, you make the proper branch assignments for all users. Here you can see 